Assalamualaikum dan selamat petang Tuan-tuan dan puan-puan yang dikasih sekalian Pada petang ini I will be sharing with you about uh, Model applications And title How you can create questionnaire Inside your model apps Ataupun uh, You as a teacher You want to perform a Simple questionnaire For a certain reason uh, Therefore you can conduct those uh, experiment and also collect those data among your students let us dive in into this page datang ke channel saya kerja data online please consider to subscribe like and share all our videos we provide a very comprehensive online courses free of charge nonton semua video kami sehingga akhir pembelajaran secara so the first of all you can go to this uh, view you can go log in into your teacher account and then I got a course here, SPSS Bio, for example. I can scroll down here and then let's say this one, topic one, lecture evaluation is already being done before. So let's say I want to redo it again. So how to do that? Let us dive in. So the first one, you go to the add activity or resources and then you can scroll down under the question ad here. The question is, the question ad is not there. How you want to make sure your question ad available plug-in will be uh, shared in another video. So this video dedicated to give you the idea how to create the online question air. But if you do not sure how to get this uh, question air available in your Moodle, um, please check out another videos that I already described in the description below. Okay, the next one you need to do the um, adding those question air and give some sort of uh, name for that question air. In this case, I'm going to say uh, teacher evaluation. Let's say teacher evaluation or course evaluation. Okay, evaluation. All right. So after that, you give some sort of description. Please answer accordingly. After you finish uh, doing that thing, then you can set um, another kind of mechanism. Let's say timing, content, restriction, etc. and so on. All this detail will be described in the uh, uh, next future video, inshallah. Because it is uh, time constraint, gents. I'm just going to give you at a glimpse how you can conduct this thing and export it out to share with your colleague and friend. So after you finish, then you have to add question. You can go here, add question, or you can go here under this gear symbol. You can go to questions. Okay, after you go to questions, then you have the option here. What kind of questions that you want to ask? Okay, example, you want to ask about your um, student a semester for example you want to ask them about their gender so you can choose either one of it okay I, I show you a few example here let me start with the radio button and add selected question time so let's say this one I'm looking into gender so um, I want to ask the students um, what is your gender then you can have the possible answer in a separate row example male enter and then you can write female after that you can save changes then you will have some sort of idea something like this will happen then the next uh, response is not required click to switch this meant that the respondent can skip therefore you can make it as a mass that's mean uh, the respondent must answer this question by clicking yes over here that's mean they have to answer this one because it is a compulsory question then you can click to preview tab to preview your output or your uh, question as follows okay and then you can uh, go back to question and then proceed with another questions and so on so usually in the course evaluation we will ask them about a likert scale therefore you can go to read skill and add selected question type just to skip uh, the another demography factors that you can also uh, assign and also um, ask your respondent about your course so the question now is about the um, learning experience example exp then you can uh, give some sort of instruction uh, please indicate your learning experience okay so your learning experience can vary it's, uh, through one until five okay one is unpleasant 
okay five will be uh, very satisfactory okay this is just an example and then you can type the questions over here so the first possible answer is actually a question indicated uh, a type of a statement that you want uh, your respondent uh, provide okay example visual aid okay and then uh, music examples and then you can put it as audio okay and then uh, question and answer and so on so you can save change and you can preview it so after you preview it can be something like this you see it's become one until five and the questions are ready to be answered by your respondent so if your respondent keep it or skip it therefore they cannot proceed with another question due to the fact that we mark this one as asterisk that means they must answer it okay then we can go to another type of question you can explore by yourself you can put uh, numerical ac box labels uh, text box and then we can put uh, drop down box we can put check box for multiple check okay i'm just going to go for check box just to give you an idea how the output will be question so this one is um, item okay let's say this is just an item so we force them to answer minimum zero and maximum will be one uh, sorry three let's say we have three uh, option uh, please choose the cost or product you like okay so this one probably um, in our cost we sell also a product or we we do something about the option then we want to know whether they like this one or that one and so on so we can put uh, product a and then we can put product b and then we can put product uh, c and then we can put product d so they can actually choose any one of it or uh, all of it then we can save change all right so you can just preview it if you want so this one is a checkbox therefore you must uh, remember the checkbox is a multiple check that's mean we can multiple uh, giving multiple response whereby the um, radio buttons just choose one either uh, a few types of options then you can go into the drop down then we can go also to the numeric for example you want to obtain their phone number or you want to uh, obtain their time of inserting this question and so on okay never mind just to keep in mind that all the uh, all the things already uh, completed almost completed you can go to advanced setting for a certain advancement uh, let's say you want to make some sort of confirmation url where after they submit they can go to this one to get a certain perks or um, a certain uh, gift or voucher something like that is a very fun and a very good uh, process and then you can also go to your um, question here and then you can make some sort of setup okay okay let me dive in into the option back okay you can just go into this uh, cost evaluation you can just go to the edit edit settings and then you can go to this one we call it as uh, activity completion uh, restriction of access that's mean they cannot um, enter the evaluation unless they will finish all of the courses that already being set and then we can also make some sort of response option where send and after answering the question and eh, they will never get and also see all other responses this is very crucial to alter otherwise uh, each of the respondent can see another respondent or overall responses uh, from the details unless you are required them to do so no problem on that then you can save and display so um, theoretically speaking our um, online question is already available in a Moodle setting therefore you can log out and then you can uh, try to have a look okay in this case I have the uh, dummy account as a student uh, therefore I would like to log in if you don't have a dummy account you can just switch your role okay you can just go here and then you can have uh, switch the role in if you are teacher so uh, let me see about my course this is a dummy course okay you see this one course evaluation so the students can answer the question straight away so this is the overview of the online question eh? they're already being developed using model okay one thing about this um, idea or this uh, mechanism uh, the output can be generated and uh, fully integrated with the, any statistical package that you can easily export it and import it for further analysis. So uh, that one is already completed. Let me log in back into my teacher account uh, to have a look about the output or the uh, file that already been generated. So we can go to the SPSS bio 
we can go to the cost evaluation and see all the responses. We have a lots of other uh, mechanism that we can explore, which is I believe I will explain this one, uh, all the details later on. I'm just going to give you this uh, idea at, at a glimpse for a while so that you can have an idea about how this uh, online uh, question uh, plug-in can work in your uh, Moodle account or in your LMS learning management system. So you can download this one uh, to give the report to the uh, management, for example, and then you can also uh, do some sort of downloading for the um, uh, statistical data analysis in the future. Okay, you can just go uh, into the CSV file and open it uh, nicely in the Microsoft Excel, just for example and have a look about the output about okay. the explanation uh, from my um, previous session um, i would like to share with you how you can share this particular um, online question air so that you can share with your colleague or member or friend so in this uh, session i also are going to share uh, to my colleague outside there so that you can download it it's basically a lecture evaluation. Okay, a lecture evaluation is one of the important component uh, to make sure that all the students able to evaluate effectively and also evaluate each of the session that we conducted. Alright, so to do that, actually, I already create the lecture evaluation here. If you can see here, I already created the lecture evaluation inside here. So if you go to edit setting here, so you can see it is already um, completed with the question so the question actually um, in the process of revision if got something to do with the uh, adjustment will be noted uh, soon okay so the question is already there and then uh, if we go to the question um, how I want to share this particular um, uh, questionnaire to my colleague or my uh, lecturers okay so the idea is very simple you can just go to this uh, action menu or gear button and then I can go to this uh, backup okay I can go to backup and I can click next and then I can click next and then I can uh, rename accordingly if I want to rename in this case I just want to rename uh, lecture uh, evaluation and then you can also find uh, version 1.1 so this uh, lecture evaluation actually you can download in the link below so that you can um, have it inside your own okay and then perform backup okay dot mbz I'm so sorry about the extension uh, that have the dot mbz so we must put the dot mbz over there perform backup and uh, the file is already being backup here and then you can download alright so let's say um, you are a lecturer in a subject let's say I open my subject over here I got a kppp this is my subject I want to insert the evaluation okay how to do that it's very simple you can just go to this um, Activities, let's say the evaluation usually at the last topic, the the very end of the topics, right? So I'm just going to hit this one, add activity or resources. And then I can uh, go towards this questionnaire. Actually, this is uh, a very simple one. You can just go here and then you can just go uh, restore straight away. And then you can just restore your lecture evaluation. You see, this one is lecture evaluation available because it is inside my account. But if you do not have, you can just choose a file and then you can upload those files that already being shared with you or after you download the file that I already give the link down there. Uh, then you can upload the file. So after you uploading the file, the file will be available for you to be used. Okay, let's say um, I'm going to delete this one first. Let's say uh, I delete this one first so that it will become a real situation for you. So let's say I, I delete everything. Okay, so now I would like to have it. So I'm just going to choose the file. So I'm going to this one, lecture. Okay, lecture evaluation.mbz. I'm going to open. If you don't have this file, you can download in the link uh, of this video. Upload the file and after that, you click restore. 
So after you click restore, you can just continue and then proceed accordingly. Then the model will ask you restore in what kind of courses. In this case, I want to restore it under the KPPP, my subject. And then uh, we can just click next and then next. So automatically, actually, uh, after we click the perform restore, it's already embedded in our topic one because it is being set at the topic one. So if you want to um, remove it or um, arrange it, you can just do it by just dragging dragging it here and there. And uh, if you want to do it also the same thing for the topic three, you can just go to the edit and then you can just make duplicate as simple as that. Okay, as long as you have this one copy, then you can make it so many over here and there. Right, uh, so actually, my um, lecture evaluation is complete and ready to be used. Uh, perhaps this one you want to set it up first because uh, you want to make sure that um, the the students is only evaluate you after finish the the assessment or after finish the classroom session. Okay, so remember to uh, set up the respond option to never because you don't want the student also seen another student's comment and also you can also put some restriction if you need that one to be set up. Okay, after you finish everything, then you can just view to your uh, switch role account as a student to see whether it is uh, useful or not and it is um, actively functional or not. So based on uh, the restore um, based on the restore procedure just now, we can see that it's already there and uh, it's ready to be used by all of you. Okay, with that, thank you very much. Uh, please do share this video to your friend and family. And if you find that this uh, channel is useful, please do subscribe and give a like button. Thank you. Bye-bye. Assalamualaikum.